Well, George, thank you so much. And yes, I am the current Prime Minister. <laughs> I, I hope my currency as Prime Minister is about the same as the currency that Pharmacy Guild presidents have, because they nearly always have very long and stable careers uh, at the head of the Guild. Uh, George, it's great to be with you. It's great to be with Kos Sklavos, uh, your uh, predecessor, uh, with whom I worked very closely as Health Minister. Uh, it's great to be with Paul Sinclair, the new President of the Guild in New South Wales, who I've known for almost 40 years. It's great to be with Ron Boswell, uh, my parliamentary colleague and friend, who is a fitting awardee uh, from the Guild tonight. Uh, it's good to be with Jane Holton, um, formerly the Health Department Secretary, now the Finance Department Secretary. And can I say to all of you, it's good to have friends in finance. It really is good to have friends in central agencies. And uh, as a former Health Secretary, uh, Jane certainly is a friend of pharmacy. And now, of course, she's, uh, she's in the Finance uh, Department and doing a very, very good job. But I first of all want to say what a thrill it is to be here with community pharmacy in the heart of our nation's capital. It's great to be back with community pharmacy. I was always delighted to be here at these dinners as health minister. And I have to tell you, I am even more delighted to be here at this dinner as prime minister. I believe that community pharmacy is not just a business, it's a service. But it's not just any old service. It is a service which gives comfort and confidence to our people and to our communities. Because there's hardly a community worth the name anywhere in Australia that lacks a community pharmacy. And in every community where there is a community pharmacist, that pharmacist, that pharmacy is a rock of reliability common sense, dependability, trust, and professionalism. When I was the health minister for four years, I had lots of complaints about lots of different subjects. But not once can I ever remember anyone coming to me to complain about community pharmacy. I had lots of people come up to me when I was the health minister and compliment me uh, on the work of community pharmacists. And I was very happy to accept those compliments, I have to say. I was very happy to be complimented uh, uh, for the work that you did, for the work that you do. But trust me, the work that you do is abundantly recognised by our community, which is why, uh, as uh, George has just reminded us, uh, community pharmacy is one of the most trusted of all professions. That's why I love community pharmacy, because the pharmacist is always there, the pharmacist is always helpful, and the pharmacist is always professional. And you may say, well, that's all very well. Uh, that's a minister in a government, in this case a prime minister, of a government saying that pharmacy is one of the pillars of our community. Well, what am I going to do for you, you may well ask. Well, I tell you what, I am not going to approach the problems of our country in a way which fails to respect the institutions that have made our country strong. I am not going to run around solving non-problems. And I am not going to put theory ahead of practice. And when I know, and when I know that something works, I want to support that which works. I do not want to go for something which is untried and unproven against something which is tried and is proven. And I never want to promote theory over practice. And one of the things that we can most depend upon uh, in this uncertain world of ours is that if there is a community pharmacy for you,
That is something that you can absolutely rely on. Now, as you know, uh, these are quite different times today uh, than the times uh, that we enjoyed until just a few years ago. As you know, up until 2007, uh, government, it was a coalition government, to be sure, uh, but up until 2007, government was regularly delivering surpluses in the order of $20 billion a year. We know that since then, uh, governments, a Labor government until quite recently, was regularly deliver delivering deficits in the order of $50 billion a year. So times are different now to those of just a few years ago. And I cannot stand up and say to you that government will no longer be looking for savings. I can't say that to you in all honesty. But what I can say to you is that we want to work with you so that whatever we do in the end is helpful for pharmacy, is helpful for your customers and your communities. And we want to work with you to ensure that the great community pharmacists of our country are providing more services, not less services, to the people of Australia. Because you are consummate health professionals. There are few people in our community who are as much in touch with the people they serve as you are. And with government support, I am very confident that community pharmacy can do more for the people of Australia, can do more preventative health work for the people of Australia can do more to work with an ageing population to ensure that we age in the best possible health. And that's what I want to do uh, in the months and years to come. That's what Peter Dutton and I want to do in the months and years to come. Yes, we want to deliver a good budget outcome for the people of Australia, but we also want to deliver a good health, health outcome for the people of Australia, and the best way of ensuring that we do both is to work constructively with the Guild. How do you know, how do you know that I want to work constructively with the Guild? Because that's what I've always done. How do you know that I'm a friend of community pharmacy? Because that's what I've always been. How do you know that I respect the place of the community pharmacy in our economy and in our society, because the last time there was a serious push to threaten the place of community pharmacy in our society, I stood up against it as your health minister. So my friends, as we go forward, all of us have to do the right thing by our country. You do the right thing by our country by doing your job as well as you, as you possibly can. And every day you do your job, uh, the Australian people are better off and healthier. I do my job. Peter Dutton does his job by helping you to do your job better. Uh, and yes, because you're small business people, we help you to do your job better. Uh, by getting taxes down, getting regulation down, trying to ensure that as far as is humanly possible, we work with business, not against business, trying to ensure that we always have an open door and a ready ear to the problems of business whenever they are brought to us. But in the end, the best way that we can help community pharmacy is by working with you to enable you to better serve the people of Australia. And that's what we want to do. We want to work with you. President George, it was great to hear your praise uh, of my friend and colleague, Peter Dutton. I've worked with Peter uh, for about 15 years now. Uh, you could not meet a more dependable, a more reliable a servant of the Crown uh, and citizen of our country than Peter Dutton, but we will both work with you
to ensure that we get the best possible deal for community pharmacy in the months and years ahead because the best deal for community pharmacy is almost certainly the best deal for the Australian people who we are pledged to serve. Thank you so much. <laughs>